This Saturday afternoon here in Birmingham, Alabama, the Watford Terriers come to town looking to remain unbeaten in Southern Conference play and pick up an eighth straight win as they take on the Samford Bulldogs here at Siebert Stadium. The Terriers are 7-1 overall, ranked number 7 in the nation, 5-0 and in the league. Samford 4-4 four four overall, and the Bulldogs are 2-3 in the SoCon. Last year at Gibbs Stadium, Samford dealt the Terriers a disappointing 27 to 24 defeat. Let's go ahead and look at the highlights. Devin Reed goes to the left, two receivers come to the right, again out of the gun, Allen pitch far corner, good room for Breitenstein, 45, breaks the tackle at the 50 and steps out of bounds far sideline at the 49. Third down and a yard from the 20. This time out of the gun, Allen, a wing to the right, two backs along with him. He's going to fake the dive, pitches on the ground. It is loose, and Sanford has come out of there with the football. Third and six Bulldogs from there, 27. Two receivers right, one comes to the left. Tolliver, plenty of time to throw. Now the pocket breaks down. He's sacked at the 20-yard line. It's fourth and long. Ahmet Paul, your national leader in sacks, gets his 11th and a half of the year as he grabbed him down around the lower part of his legs. Third and eight, Wofford from the 44. Two receivers left. Burson comes to the right, a wing to the right as well. Single back flanking Allen out of the gun, takes the snap, time to throw, puts it up near side, caught at the numbers. Burson, first down reception at the 50, takes it to the 45, down to the Sanford 43. Two receivers right, one to the left, Terriers first down from the Bulldog 43. Play action, Allen, plenty of time, throws, intercepted. Taken at the 25, return to the 30, 35 to the 40, Justin Sly, reserve corner. After one quarter here at Seabird Stadium, we've got nothing on the scoreboard. Wofford nothing, Samford nothing. No score, 429 to play second quarter. Second and 10 Bulldogs at the Terrier 41, right hash. Three receivers left, handoff, Evans, big hole up the middle, 30, 25, slung down at the Terrier 21. Tolliver. Gets the call from the bench on third and mid. Third and six, single back Barnett flanking the quarterback, Tolliver. Quarterback draw right up the middle to the 15. Second effort to the 13. I don't think he got the first down. He's about a yard and a half shy. Chris Corley does the snapping. This will be a 30-yard try. Low snap, spot down, kick on the way. Plenty of distance, and he missed it. Third and 14 from the Wofford 48-yard line. The Bulldogs have one timeout remaining. Trips right for Tolliver out of the gun. Back to throw. Going to lob it deep for Ogren. Leaping catch near sideline. Made at the Terrier 20-yard line where he's bumped out of bounds by Jamar Reeves. All right, Cameron Yaw really is going to try a 36-yard field goal. Again, Neal remains the holder. Corley the snapper. Snap there, spot down, kick with the distance, end over ending good. At the end of 30 minutes here in Birmingham, your score, the Samford Bulldogs three and the Wofford Terriers nothing. Wide to the right goes Devin Reed. Wide left comes Brenton Burson. Mitch Allen played each first half series with the exception of one. Terriers will line up in the wing bone. Samford, three down linemen. They put seven on the line of scrimmage. Big hole right up the middle. Breitenstein, 30, 40. Angling right at the 50. Breitenstein to the Samford, 40. Cuts it back inside at the 30, 25, 20. And he is finally slung down at the Bulldog, 18-yard line by Andy Davis. A single back behind Allen out of the gun. That's a handoff, and Donovan Johnson up the middle gets a yard, and that is all. It is fourth and six. This would be a 32-yard attempt from just inside the right hash mark for Christian Reed. Mitch Allen, the holder, Cummings, the snapper. Good snap, hold down, kick plenty of distance, and it's good this game is tied. 12.33 to play in the third quarter. Wofford three, Samford three. First down and 10. Three back surrounding Allen out of the gun. He'll give it away. Breitenstein has a whole left side, near side 30. 40, Breitenstein to the 50, cuts it back inside at the 45, and Eric Breitenstein is taken down at the Samford 40-yard line. Breitenstein explodes for 40 yards. First and 19, Wofford, this time out of the wing bone. Allen turns, handoff, Breitenstein fumbles it and picks it back up on the bounce as he falls on the ball at the 41-yard line, and that turns into an eight-yard carry. Third and nine. 
Two receivers go to the right. Mitch Allen out of the gun. In motion near side comes Reed. Play action for Mitch. Going to roll right. Going to heave it deep toward the goal line for Burson. Pass deflected and incomplete. Now the running back flanking the quarterback to his left as he goes in motion. Hand off Barnett. Breaks initial contact in the backfield, but will only get to the line of scrimmage. Terriers close things up. Zach Bob. Well, no wing bone. Allen's going to back up into the shotgun. Single back behind him, Breitenstein. Allen fakes the give. He's going to come near side and has the first down. Turns left corner to the 10 to the 15. He is tripped up at the 20. Mitch Allen runs for 17 yards. Mitch Allen, shotgun snap, handoff Breitenstein right up the gut, first down and more to the 30, wheels ahead to the 35, and he spun down at the 37. Your score as we go to the fourth, Wofford three, Samford three, Terriers first and 10 at the Bulldog 40, or make that the Wofford 49-yard line, two receivers left, one right, Allen back to throw down the middle, caught out of the backfield by Rucker, that's a first down reception at the 45, and then he slips down at the Bulldog 40. Tenth play of the Terrier drive here. They have yet to face third down. Now it's first and 10 at the Bulldog 28. Left hash, wide right, Burson. One receiver goes to the left, wing bone set. Breitenstein, your fullback, Rucker in motion to the right. He'll get a poor toss from Allen. Adjust, catches it, and turns the corner. 25, 20, 15. He'll be shouldered out of bounds at the 10 yard line. We are tied at three. Wofford looking for the go ahead score. 12 and a half minutes to play, fourth quarter. Second down and five from the six out of the wing bone with Allen up under center, fakes the dive, carries right, and he scores standing up. Touchdown, Mitch Allen, the Terriers are back on top. Wofford leading it, 12-20 remaining in the fourth quarter here in Birmingham. Terriers 10, Samford three. Under six minutes to play, first and 10, Wofford from the 47. Again out of the wing bone, wide outs either side for Allen. In motion left, Marshall, and they're gonna run the reverse to the end. Here comes Reed near side 50, Devin Reed near sideline 40. Reed to the 30, he is slung down at the Samford 25 yard line, a 28 yard run for Devin Reed, Andy Davis the strong safety was the guy who finally took him down. 4.40 to play. We're in the fourth quarter. Wofford second down and five at the Samford 20. Terriers with a score here could salt it away. One receiver, Andrew Young to the right. Wing bone, Breitenstein left side, leaps a tackler, takes it to the 15, lowers the boom down to the 13. That as we come back, Christian Reed attempting a field goal of 26 yards, and he missed it wide to the left. Now look at this. With 2.53 remaining in the football game, and Wofford leading 10-3. Second and 10 Bulldogs from the 20. Four receivers to either side. Tolliver out of the gun, going to throw the screen pass. Barnett has it at the 20. Near side 30, 40. Barnett to the 50. He's going to run out of bounds at the Terrier 47-yard line as he took it up the near side. Now the Bulldogs are first and 25. They are the most penalized team in the league. Four receivers for Tolliver. Pressure coming. He steps out of the pocket momentarily, but now he's sacked. Eric Eberhard got him. Terriers looking for a stop and putting an end to the game in essence. On fourth and 31. Tolliver rolling right. He's going to heave it deep down the far sideline. We're going to have a jump ball, and it's intercepted. Mike Nyam picks it off at the 10-yard line, and the Wofford Terriers should get out of here with a win and be in sole possession of first place in the conference. And they do it with a bruising performance by the defense. Your final score here from Seabird Stadium in Birmingham, the Wofford College Terriers 10 and the Samford University Bulldogs 3. You all probably have heard Georgia Southern beat out. And I may be spiffballing, but I think there's only one team that's undefeated right now. <laughs> couple of turnovers in the first quarter you were moving the ball so well what do you tell you guys at halftime well we told them just relax uh, we came down here and, and uh, it was like everybody was in knots and I, I'm not sure if their concern about staying undefeated uh, you, you know had, had finally gotten a little bit too much for them uh, you know we had talked about two three weeks ago 
you know, a big part of this game is not only dealing with adversity, but dealing with success and how you handle it. And I think, you know, we came out, we came out tight and just didn't execute, you know, defensively. We come out and we, we play defense and do what we're supposed to do. And then offensively, we, we've got opportunity after opportunity and we just, you know, we're, we're just kicking it in the garbage can. And uh, finally, you know, we came in at the halftime and we just told them, hey, this is what we've got to do, just relax and execute. And told defense, keep playing. Uh, and, you know, we were fortunate enough uh, to come out with a win. Uh, kicking game hurt, hurt a lot. And uh, to the defense's credit, it didn't matter where they started. They were going to do a great job of stopping them. And uh, it was a, a great game for us, uh, a tough on the road game. And uh, uh, it, it's going to set the stage for the next one. We, we go and we play number one team in the nation in app. And, uh, you know, they've got great players. Uh, they've got a great team. Uh, Jerry Moore is as good a football coach as there is in America. And, uh, and it's a tough, tough, tough place to play. Uh, they'll have them stacked and packed. Uh, most of them will be yelling for the other team in black and gold, but uh, it, it's, it's one of those things that if you're going to win a Southern Conference championship this year, you got to take it through Boone. Eric, kind of a statistical anomaly. You run for well over 200 yards and the team scores 10 points. So talk about the offense today. Um, we were moving the ball. We uh, shot ourselves in the foot a couple times. And, you know, you can't do that against a good defense like that. And they were playing hard out there. Uh, I can contribute a lot of it to their D. But, uh, you know, I thought we were moving them pretty well. And, you know, we'd get 10 yards, pick up a first down, pick up maybe three or four first downs, and then we'd do something stupid, you know, and, you know, have to punt. So uh, our offense is, is the kind where if you're not picking up any yards on first or second down, you know, um, it's going to be harder to uh, – to gain or get that first down. Mike, the do you realize the defense has not given up a touchdown now in eight straight quarters? Uh, I didn't realize that specifically until you just said it, but I know we've been playing pretty well as of late. So, What worked so well today? Uh, you know, we just played hard. I mean, they got a couple plays. There. I give them a lot of credit, you know, like everything they got, they earned. And uh, we just kept playing, kept fighting, and uh, paid off in the end. So with the victory today here at Sanford, the Terriers have won eight straight. They hiked their overall record to eight and one, and they are now the only unbeaten team in the Southern Conference with a record of six and zero. Oh. By the way, the Terrier defense has not given up a touchdown in eight consecutive quarters. Next up, a trip to Boone, North Carolina and Kid Brewer Stadium with the Southern Conference Outright Championship on the line as Wofford will take on the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Kickoff next Saturday is 3 o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.